Welcome back to Done With Depression. We recently finished the Four Agreements book series, and we are now starting the Voice of Knowledge book series by the same author, Don Miguel Ruiz, and it's a practical guide to inner peace. So I really like the first book that he wrote, and I was looking for more kind of the same spiritual thing, and so I got this book, and I'm gonna be doing it chapter by chapter and just a review and my take on it. And I will have which chapter it is on the thumbnail. So it'll say something like chapter one, uh, Adam and Eve, the story from a different point of view. And then it'll go into that. And I'm gonna have other content as well. This is not filler content, but it's just an extra thing that I'm doing so that I can produce more content and be more consistent overall. So going into chapter one, we are talking about the story of Adam and Eve from the Bible. So I'm sure everyone probably knows that. Adam and Eve, they're in a heavenly land or whatever. They aren't supposed to eat the fruit from this tree. They eat it, that's original sin. They realize that um, they're not clean anymore all of that stuff, and that's where Original Sin came from. So in this book, it's a little bit different. It goes and talks about heaven on earth in the first place. So kind of like in The Four Agreements, um, it's saying that we originally have heaven on earth until we are domesticated, and then we create hell on earth and we lose um, the heaven that we had. So it starts off with heaven on earth and saying that our spiritual eyes are open and that there's a tree of knowledge. So Adam and Eve, there's the, um, the tree with the fruit on it that they're not supposed to eat. It's saying that's the um, tree of knowledge. And there's a snake, which is the prince of lies. And in the voice of knowledge, it says that the snake spoke lies and created fear. So in the Four Agreements, it talks about a parasite and the parasite feeding off of the fear. And in The Voice of Knowledge, it's talking about the original sin being created and fear being created from the very beginning. From there, it says um, we believe lies because of the innocence. So we believed that the lies that the snake told were true because we didn't know any better and we took them for truth. After that, um, we ate the apple from the tree and the lies um, became within us and with the knowledge um, of the tree. The lie is now within us and it blooms on fertile grounds of the mind. So that was in the four agreements as well, creating your um, positive energy. And if you have positivity planted in your mind and your mind is ready to be planted with positivity that uh, your mind will be fertile grounds for positivity. So another similarity there. So the lie is within us, it blooms on the fertile grounds and then as we tell lies now we spread the seeds from the poisonous fruit. After we spread the seeds the uh, Prince of Lies, which is also referred to as the parasite in the Four Agreements, now lives within us and it creates judgment and separation instead of love. So we had heaven on earth before with love, now we have lies, judgment, and separation. So if we have self-rejection and hate within us, there's only so much that we can take within us before we spew out and give judgment and hate to other people. And when we have judgment and separation from others and we're getting further and further away from love, we become um, closed to spirituality. So our spiritual eyes become closed. And from there, we place blame for the suffering. So everyone's always chasing this um, happiness in this dream and heaven, but we ourselves create the suffering that we have and then we take the suffering that we have, that we created, and we try and blame other things for it outside of us. So it goes back to say that original sin goes against ourselves. So if you look up the word sin, it means against oneself or against self. 
And so it takes it just half a step further in saying that you're against your own self, which means you're not being authentic to yourself and it's the death of authenticity. So when you reject yourself and you don't have any authenticity, your authenticity dies within yourself, which only leaves room for fear and hate and judgment. And that feeds the parasite that creates the suffering. So uh, to break it down a little bit simpler, we first had heaven on earth. We believed in internalized lies of the snake. We spread the lies and created judgment and fear. We had suffering and rejection of ourself, which led to the death of our authentic self. And in the words of the, free, the four agreements, we created our own hell on earth. So let me know what you guys thought about that in the comment section. It does go along with the Bible, but it's just a little bit of a different view on the story of Adam and Eve. So let me know if you agree with it, want more information or have a different opinion. And I'll see you guys next time.